Hi guys, just as you saw in the opening, today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to create a creative text combined with a picture-in-picture -picture effect. This can bring a whole new feel to your video. If you're interested in this one, keep watching the video. Launch your software. Create a new project. First, find text icon in the toolbar and click on it. In the inspector, add the text content. Choose your desired font. I recommend the bold text. Adjust the text size, enlarge it if possible. Drag the slider here to widen the letter spacing. Adjust the position and details of the text through the preview window. After that, if you don't want shadows, go to the text shadow area and remove it. Then, click the camera icon above the preview window to generate the current screenshot. Now you have a solid text image. We go back to your main interface. Click the plus icon on the left side of the subtitle track to add a new track. Open the Titus panel in the upper left corner. Drag the Hello Text Presser to the new track. Edit the text to be the same as before. Choose the same font and adjust the size to be roughly the same. Click the Add Text button again to adjust the letter spacing. Change your text border color to white. and apply the adjustments. Click the camera icon again to generate another screenshot. Use the same method to get a remaining two sets of text image. Now we're fully prepared. Now import the prepared text image and the remaining materials into the software. Drag the paper crumble material to the video track and the music to the audio track. Preview it. And you will find the music beat and the video rhythm don't quite match. So we select this material, go to the inspector, scroll down to find the play speed property, and click the button to double the video speed. Then adjust the durations to align with each other. Next, drag the skin video to the overlay track. Cut the video into several segments based on the music rhythm. Keep the first segment in its original state. Click the crop icon to add it the second segment. In this interface, directly choose a vertical aspect ratio. Click apply to adjust. Continue to crop and add it the third segment. This time, choose another aspect ratio. Click Apply to return to the main interface. Select the last segment. In the inspector, click High to fade it to the screen. This quickly completes a picture-in-picture -picture transition effect. Now we come to the last part of the tutorial. Find this button, click it to add several overlay tracks. Then drag the first hello text to an empty overlay track. Adjust its duration to align with the first video segment. In Inspector, scroll down to the compositing area. Choose the screen blend mode. Then go to the transform area. Directly drag the slider to adjust the scale value to harmonize with the picture. After that, click the crop icon to enter the crop editor panel. This time, I will directly use a mouse to edit the size of the frame, keeping only the middle part of the text. Click apply when done. Now you can see this scene in the preview window. Continue to drag the other solid text image to another overlay track, adjust the duration to align. In the compositing area, choose the screen blend mode. 
then adjust the size to overlap with the hello text. Then go to the crop editor panel, crop all in the left side of the text content. Click apply to return to the main interface. Use the show or high layer rectangle button and the parameters in the transform area to adjust its position, achieving the effect of seamlessly combining two types of text. Use the Ctrl C shortcut to copy it, and then paste it on another overlay track. This time, in the Crop Editor panel, click the Reset icon to restore it. Then crop out the right side of the text content. Apply the adjustment and return to the main interface to adjust its position to completing the splicing effect. Now you have this scene. Use the same method to quickly complete the editing of the remaining two sets of text. Finally, open the effects panel in the upper left corner. Drag the border effect to the effect track. Adjust its duration to align with the text. Then, go to the inspector to edit the border size. Define the scope to apply only to the skin video. And that's it. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you want to learn more about other and tricks, what has been going on with VideoPro Vlogger, don't forget to click that subscribe button to your subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye!